Good morning guys. So today is day four of us being quarantined for the coronavirus. Day four as in Jane's been out of school for four days. I wanted to do a little day in the life video for you to kind of share what we are doing here. I mentioned a little bit in my last video how I'm gonna sit on the stairs really quick. When Jane is normally in school, I don't really have a schedule for the little two as far as like what we're doing when. I do have like a cleaning schedule. We have different things that go on each day. They have quiet time, lunch time, all of that, but they don't have like specific times to do things. And now that Jane has like a huge packet like this thick of work that she has to get done in the next two weeks, um, and obviously I don't want her to like regress in learning or anything, I wanted to make more of like a strict schedule for them here. And the little kids are kind of just going along with it and doing things with us, but it's mainly for Jane. And this also designates time for them to be on their iPads or watching TV or playing outside or playing upstairs because like on the week, like if we take the weekends, for example, we just do anything willy nilly. They ask a lot of questions. They want snacks all the time. They want to watch their tablet all the time. They want to be playing all the time, which is fine because it's a weekend. But I knew that if we didn't have anything like set in stone, I would go crazy because they would be asking me those things constantly. So having a list of things, I have it right here in front of me. Um, right next to Jane's room. She's the only one that can read, but she can kind of like let the little kids know. And then I'm obviously reminding them of what we're doing. So I'm gonna turn around, show you guys, and then we're gonna go through the day today. So here is our little schedule. I have it posted. My camera is on its last leg, guys, so bear with me. So here's our schedule. So from eight to 10, we're gonna wake up breakfast and tablet time. The reason it's so late is because Jane wakes up so, so late. Today she woke up at 9.15. So I want to, I could be waking her up in the morning, but it's nice to just kind of like wake up on your own. This is tablet time because the little two wake up a little earlier. So they'll either get on a tablet or we'll turn on cartoons on the TV and everyone just kind of wakes up slowly at their own pace. We are not morning people. So it's nice to just kind of get our day going at a slower pace. Then from 10 to 11, they're gonna play upstairs or in their rooms and around like 11, we'll have a little bit of a snack, depending on how early we had breakfast. So today, Jane literally just ate her breakfast and it's like 9.45, so she might not even need a snack. We are in the process of changing the playroom around and I'm excited to give you guys a playroom update when it's done, it's almost done but we have made some major changes in our house as far as where the toys are. We used to have toys like hidden everywhere. We had some in this living room over here. We had some in the closet. We had some upstairs. We have some in each room, but now all of the toys are either in the playroom or a few here and there in their rooms. I don't want like toys scattered around my entire house and it's actually been a lifesaver, but I'll talk about it more during the playroom update. So playing upstairs, it's basically just cause that's where most of their toys are. We've set up a TV up there as well that they can turn on. It sounds like there's a lot of TV time, but they mainly play, which is good. And then obviously they can play in their rooms too. It's only day four and we've had to separate the kids many times when they're playing upstairs because they'll fight and argue, but we're just kind of in survival mode over here. So then from 11 to 12 is learning time. We're gonna do Jane's schoolwork, obviously, flashcards for little kids, tablet for the little kids, tablet meaning um, learning apps only. And they sit up on our bar. Again, I'm gonna share this all with you so we can talk about it later, like what we're doing. But mainly Jane has to get a lot of her schoolwork done and she can get a lot done in one hour. And I feel like this is good because she gets playtime out of the way, tablet out of the way, and she's ready to learn. And the last two days that we've actually been doing this, she has gotten so much done in the one hour. So I'll share that with you. Then from 12 to one is lunch. If she's still working like on the computer or something, she'll do that while she eats. And then, um, so sometimes this can go into like two hours of work. And then from one to two is quiet time. And then we'll turn on a movie or they can be on their tablets, but they need to be quiet somewhere, whether it's their room or the living room and just kind of rest. Then from two to four is craft time. Also more schoolwork if it needs to be done. 
Jane has a whole list of stuff from her teacher that she has to get done every day. So it just depends on what she got done and then clean up. So around 3.30 we'll clean up because the girls actually still have dance practice. They have virtual dance class and we've been taking it upstairs on the TV upstairs and most of the time they have a class at 3.30 most days. So cleaning up around 3.30, having them have their class at 3.30 because they can't be like dancing on top of toys upstairs. That makes it so I am sane during the day with the messes that are in this house. I know there's a designated cleanup time and I'm not asking them to clean up all day long and they're really, really good to, when I say it's cleanup time, they're ready to clean up because it's just the one time I have to ask them instead of asking them all day like I usually do. Like clean it up, clean it up. We're just doing like the one cleanup time. So then from four to six is outside time. Hopefully there won't be many days and then six o'clock dinner. Hopefully there won't be many days where um, it's raining. We haven't had a rainy day yet and it's actually really nice outside because getting outside is crucial for our sanity as well. Um, but that, obvi that gives me time to like cook dinner and get stuff ready for that. And then we eat dinner and then there's nothing else on that list because we basically just follow what we'd normally do on a normal day as far as after dinner. Jane has who's reading and a little bit more homework. That's what she does every night even when she's in school. So we follow that as well. And then obviously anything else on the list that she hasn't got done we'll do as well. And we usually do that while the other two are in the bathtub. So I know I basically just went through our whole entire day and now I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I figured I'd explain it now. That way, when we're going through it today, there's not many questions. Um, I have a lot to do actually today as far as chores go as well. Today is clean sheet Thursday, so I'm cleaning all the sheets. It's also the day that I clean all the bathrooms, so hopefully I can get everything done and all of Jane's schoolwork. It's gonna be interesting. Also, today is <laughs> one month since River's surgery. And if you guys have been following along, basically he has cancer and the doctors told us that he had one month left. Originally they told us one to three and then they changed it to one. And we've been prepared, but today is the one month since his surgery. So he beat it, he beat the odds, but we're really happy about that because we thought, hey, we thought he wouldn't be here. And now when we're stuck at home is the best time to have him here with us. So we're really grateful to have him. But anyways, it is almost 10 o'clock, which means the little kids are gonna go, or all the kids are gonna go upstairs and play. They're still relaxing and waking up. They've eaten breakfast already. So we're gonna get going. I'm gonna um, take some sheets out of the washer, put it in the dryer. Hopefully I can look better than this throughout the day. My camera is really messed up. Totally forgot to show you guys our new couch. I showed it on my cleaning channel, but here it is. It's actually way bigger than we remembered it, but we love it. Look how comfy it looks. And it's like this. I keep saying furry, but it's not really furry, but it's like a really soft material. We love the color. We still have the old couches over there. So once those are gone, it'll look more open.
everyone is dressed. Thank God. You can go upstairs and put some blankets on or go play. Watch out, Jane. So Jackson's already up there. Everyone is dressed and ready for the day, and it is now upstairs time. Girls, are we gonna fight upstairs? No. No, we're gonna get along and play, right? Yeah. Mommy's gonna get on the exercise bike, and I will let you know when it is learning time, okay? All right, going up. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. I can't carry you walking stairs. It's too dangerous. Okay, have fun. Yes. Okay, mom. <laughs> so, like I just said, I am going to jump on the Peloton and do a 30-minute ride. Um, that really depends on if Chris is um, on a phone call or not. So I try to get it done right at 10 o'clock because... Um, I know that the kids are entertained for a little bit and then I can actually get ready for the day because I don't want to get ready and then get sweaty on the Peloton. So I am lucky right now because he's not on a phone call till 11. So I'm going to hurry up and get on the Peloton while the kids are. <laughs> I just jumped out of the shower, so I still need to do my hair and my makeup, but it is 11.09. We have a 10 minute timer set for Jane's math work. Jane, oh. concentrate on your math. Mama, I did it! Piper's practicing writing her name. That's a P, I, P. Where's your R? Oh, right here. Oh, good job. So she's gonna do this for a minute. I'm gonna show you guys some other things that we do with the kids. Jackson is doing this little thing. You wanna pull some of these out? So I can find so the So you can A. see, yeah. He just, what letter is this? C. A. I got some, I got some And what does this say? I got some uh, Cake. Cake, good. Yep, they're having a small snack because it is close to lunch. But I was gonna show you some of the other things. Yeah, same color. So some of these things I got from my sister-in-law who has her own website for teaching. So I'll definitely leave that in the description for you guys. She has a lot of stuff that even before this whole quarantine thing is really helpful. I think I've showed this before and you can do this on, this is on flimsy paper so it's a little harder. But you have the pictures. Let's see. And you have to find the capital letter and the lowercase letter Mom, that go with the... Done. Good. Here, let me find this first. So usually I don't put out all 26 letters. We put just like a few of them out at a time. But here's yarn and then you find the capital Y because it starts with Y and then the lowercase Y and it's like a little puzzle. So that's fun. Um, these are from Jackson's school. These are his sight words that we're working on. Right now, he can't really read the sight words. Good job, Jackson. Car, right? But we do that thing that Piper has, and he'll write each word, and then we kind of sound it out. Um, this is one for Piper. This is just like a matching game. Again, I just printed it off, so she just finds the matches. She did that yesterday. This is another one that Jackson does. There's the clothespins that go with it. And it's an O, so then you just put the clothespin on every thing that starts with the letter O. And we have all the letters. 
Um, we have this Seekaboo game, which we like. It's kind of like matching, wow. but I'll show them the small card. This square card has like an apple on it, and then these bigger circles. They have to flip it over till they find the apple. So we have lots of different things that we do with the little kids, and then Jane obviously has her homework. She has that book, that um, thing. She has a reading packet that's huge. She has some uh, books. She has her flashcards that we are writing these snap words on. She has this for her creative writing. So she has a lot to do. And then she also has a ton of work for the computer. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna do this for one hour. I'm gonna try to get them situated and work a little bit, bless you, while I continue to get ready for the day. Good job, Jackson. All right, it is finally lunchtime. We are eating yep, a variety of things that don't really go together, but they have a little bit of cheesy chips, some nachos, they have some banana bread, some yogurt smoothies, grapes, strawberries, and a spoonful of peanut butter. And we have the Sandlot 2 on right now. Jane actually did a ton of work. It's 12.20, so she went overtime. I blow dried my hair, but I haven't done anything else, but we have a few other things. We got an email from ABC Mouse saying that they would give us a month free. We got an email from Reading Eggs, which I've shared before as a sponsored video. They said that they would give us a one month free as well. And then getting all of Jane's apps from school downloaded. So I've been doing that. So later on today, we can hop on and do some more work. And Jackson and Piper can also do Reading Eggs and ABC Mouse. So this is actually really good. I was thinking to myself, Oh. When Jane was in school, I did schoolwork with Piper and Jackson on Mondays and Wednesdays, and that was it. I just, that's just however much I could feel like I could do. And then obviously Jackson goes one day to preschool as well. So now that I feel like they're actually getting more work done and more learning done now that Jane's here and we're having to like have actual work time. So there's that. They're gonna eat while I get myself finished getting ready, and then we're gonna have a little bit of quiet time. Okay, so it is officially one o'clock. Yeah, Piper was looking for her Minnie Mouse. The kids are still watching. Is this still Sandlot 2? I am gonna do a quick cleanup. This place is a little bit of a disaster from the schoolwork and lunch. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and then get going with quiet time.
All right, so after making my bed, I filmed a quick video of a huge, huge clothing haul for the kids for their spring and summer clothes. So be on the lookout for that video. This whole box is like full of clothes. Um, and I got myself a few things. So I shared all of that and I still need to clean all the bathrooms today and finish all the laundry, but it's two o'clock, which means the kids quiet time is over. They got into um, a whole bunch of fuzz from our old couch that we have in the garage. And so they're cleaning that up because that's not what you're supposed to do at quiet time. Guys, dad is on the phone. We need to put it back down. Why is there this much fuzz? I don't understand. Piper, Stop pulling it out. All right, guys. So, where'd your socks go? Here they are. We had to send Piper's boots back. Where are my boots? How about I do it on the floor? Do no, I can paint on the floor now. So, we had to send Piper's boots back because even when she was walking, she was still getting up on her toes. So, they put on a new strap on the inside to hold her foot down a little oh, more. It's little. And they just came it's in the mail. Little. That's little. Okay, it's fine. They just came in the mail, so we're gonna try them on. I'm not exactly sure. So we are in our arts and crafts time. The kids have been begging to paint. So that's what we're doing today. We got lots of paint and stuff out here. And in about 10 minutes, they're gonna finish painting and we gotta clean up because Jane has dance in about 45 minutes. Arts and crafts in general is not my favorite thing ever. I'm. I like doing it myself, but with the kids, it's very stress inducing to me. So I really try to let them do these things that we no, don't, normally don't do. We don't paint very much, but now that we're stuck in the house, I'm trying to branch out. I'm gonna show you some other things that the kids do. I don't mind getting crayons and markers out. They do that all the time. Board games we could do during craft time, even though that's not really crafts. We do lots of Play-Doh. Um, I try to just, let it be. We have um, beads and string and necklace making things. We have about three bath bomb making kits that we've collected through the months and years. We have scrapbooking kits, all sorts of stuff up here that honestly, I keep saying like, oh, we're saving this for a rainy day because I actually, again, it's, it's just very stressful for me to do like a bath bomb making kit. But those are the things that we will be doing because I can, Tell myself it's just an hour, let's do this. Let the kids create and stuff that Jane does at school and then is not allowed to do now or can't do now. So, that's what we're doing. Looks so good, guys. Daddy, Daddy's so white. All right, we will show you guys their finished products so in just a few moments. All right, craft time is over. Jane's is not done. She says she's gonna finish hers tomorrow. There's Jackson's and there's yeah. Piper's. And we basically ran out of time because now we are rushing a little bit. Dance starts in 15 minutes. We have to get everything set up upstairs and we still have to clean up.
dance. Daddy and Jackson and Piper had outside time. This camera. The kiddos had their outside time. It is past dinner time, it's 6.07, but we are doing a simple dinner. We're doing um, some tomato soup and some grilled cheese sandwiches, so that shouldn't take very long to cook. So I'm gonna cook that now, and then we're gonna get our evening portion of our day started. Okay, so we ate dinner. Piper wanted to show her Elsa pajamas and her Elsa braid. And while I cleaned the kitchen up, Jane did a little bit more schoolwork. And we are actually gonna close this video now. And this is a day in the life, but if you guys wanna see our actual evening routine, you can check that out. I just posted it last week, I think. Um, and so that's basically what we're, what we're doing now. I cleaned the kitchen while Chris got the kids in the tub. Jane is in the tub now. The only thing left that I need to finish is um, make Piper's bed. Her sheets are finally done. And then Jackson's blanket is in the dryer. Yep, so I need to, um, finish and make both of those beds. And then I have to clean the girls' bathroom and the master bathroom, so one of those probably will be uh, postponed until tomorrow. And then Jane just has to read a little bit for her work and that's it. So this, like I said, is just day three of us trying to do like this homeschool thing and a schedule and the schedule has really helped like I said there have been a lot of meltdowns today that haven't been filmed but we did our best so that's what we're doing um, if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy and oh there's Jackson in the towel <laughs> um, <laughs> So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It gave you a little bit of a break from whatever you're doing and whatever you're doing at home. Hopefully everyone's being uh, safe and staying distance away from people. So we'll see you guys in our next video.